remember how I was saying that I had some nails poking through the outside of this because this is only a quarter inch and even with the trim here and the quarter inch I can only get a nailer gun with three eighths inch nails so it's still poked through here so I didn't want somebody to go and grab it and poke so what I did is I went on an Amazon and I got some nautical rope I figured what I'll do is I will kind of glue it to the inside there cover up the nails and then add a little nautical theme since it's already a, supposed to be a boat anyway so figured I will add this rope not sure if I'm gonna want to go all the way down to the bottom or I just want to leave it on the curve I'll figure it out as we go so I'll show you how it looks after I get it attached So I put rope all the way down to the base it's hard to see here so I'll kind of zoom in here as you can see I went from there all the way down now I left some tape on there just so to make sure the glue is dry because I don't want to leave it and then it all of a sudden it comes off but I did right down to the base both sides next looks really nice now I'm thinking about even putting little pieces here, not sure yet, like if I go like that, how that would look. I'm going to kind of take a look and try it and if it looks all right, then I might do it. If not, I'll just pull it off, sand it down, because what I'm probably going to do is just do a light clear stain on this and the trim and the shelves and then do a dark stain in the back and then the insides right and then on the outside sand it down and like do a like a paint I'm not sure me if I do like a burgundy or an aqua or something like that we'll see how it works but uh, I, I was kind of I like the rope I like the way the rope looks looks pretty nice so I'll be back at the next step okay so I bought the the stain in the paint that I'm going to put on my boat shelf so this is the one I'm going to kind of do on the inside like the back panel on the inside and the side panel on mission oak is a dark brown and oh, French there we go and this is what I'm gonna do for like the front and the shelves um, but that's kind of like uh, around where the rope is and then this is just a paint and it's gonna be kind of like let's see if I can get this in a better light kind of like a almost like a dark red burgundy kind of thing it's gonna go on the sides of the back so I'll show you, I'm going to do the Mission Oak first, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it's still wet, but that's kind of what it looks like. Nice dark brown, really like that color. Turned out really nice, it's a nice color. And then the light oak there, that's uh, the classic oak, is going to go here and kind of here. You can see everything that shows off the, the front, like even that little panel here. I'll do the light oak, and then the side here on each side, I'll do that burgundy or reddish to dark red. So, I'll kind of show you what it looks like after each step. So, this is the, the burgundy, as you can see, it's not quite done yet, it's dry. It's hard to see with the light, but it'll go, go darker, so it looks pretty nice when you... It's kind of hard to see them both together, but it kind of looks nice together. I just got to do the front stuff now on the shelves. 
All right, so I'll come back after I'm done that. Okay, so I added the the code of this clearer. As you can see, kind of how it's the dark and the light. Kind of back it up. So it looks pretty nice, and then contrast with the burgundy or red after it's kind of dried now. So almost done. Okay, so this is kind of how it looks when it's dry now. Kind of see the red there. Kind of light then dark. So the only thing left I have to do is the little thing on the top here. So that's pretty much it for the end of the video. That ladder, that the piece there at the top, right at the tip there, you can kind of make it whatever you want. I'm going to put like a, I ordered a starfish. So I'm going to put a starfish on the top there. So you can put whatever you want to add to your decorative finish. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post another video. And we'll talk to you later.